Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. Hello there. Um, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Is uh, it's 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 priced at six ninety nine. No, it's priced at five pounds seventy nine. I wonder why they made it six ninety nine. Five pounds seventy nine. It's uh, published by the Humble Bundle. Um, and it's a uh, it's a renders game. Uh, it's this is a wide Wednesday. I know it's Saturday, but it's the end of the year, and I just was like every other YouTube I don't, YouTuber on Earth has covered this, but it works in it works in Linux. People must want to play it because you know it's it's been covered by lots of YouTubers, and that usually means people are like at least curious. Um, in this case, all I did to get working was I just added the game to Lutris, as I've talked about many times before, uh, and I hit the uh, the run button, I hit the play button. That was it. That was that was as technical as it goes. Um, this game, I don't, I don't really understand why people want to play it. I don't understand the uh, the appeal of it at all. I don't, I don't really get it. There's no feeling more intense. Oh, there we go. The voiceover dude's here. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, oh, <laughs> see, it doesn't make any sense. Your wallet at home, and you have to go back. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him talk. If you want some money at the mm. casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately mm. dropped food on it. I just, I, uh, If you want an argument with it's still friend, going, it's still going. And then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Um, starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like um, if you've already had a bad day, then what yeah. you're about to go through he's might still be too talking. much. Feel free I find it oddly away. depressing. I'll be here. I, I've, I find it oddly depressing. I'm not sure what like, I'm not sure what the purpose of the game is. You see, getting over it's this game that you a lot of YouTube's been playing because it's one of those it's one of those YouTube. I feel like it's almost like PewDiePie bait. It's a game that's like seems to be designed to piss you off. Um, seems to be designed to give you lots of anger. Um, yeah, it's it's not something I want to play ever. Um, I've got a little bit further than this actually. My first my first little attempt at it. I got a little bit further. Um. I can't quite work out. There you go. Right. Hey. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Oh, he's talking again. There you go. I don't know how often this is going to happen. Just find a safe place to stop. Yeah. With the game. Don't worry. I'll save uh -huh. your progress always, even your mistakes. Yeah. And um, what he's saying is a threat. It's like if you fall off that rock, he's already got you back. He's already saved. It. Don't try and save scum this one. Um. Yeah. I've got a little bit further, and it's basically more of the same. There's basically loads of objects. Um. Just like random objects and like 3D models and stuff like plonk down in stacks, and then you have to sort of like figure your way over it. Um, I would the controls are weird. Like like it's not just like see it's not a smooth arc of movement. There is like if you do this, it seems smooth, but if you want to like get to a certain point, you like he moves like faster, like jerky. Um, yeah, it's not it's not ideal. Then this constant water thing is weird. Um. Oh fuck! See, it's, it's already pissing me off. See, you cut, you. Cut, I, I don't, I don't get the appeal of it, guys. I, I, I'm not. Maybe I'm not that kind of. I'm not. I'm not that kind of gamer. But uh, I don't quite see the appeal of it, and I'm, I'm not quite sure what the, uh, the metaphor is of this guy, um, who's obviously like, in a bucket. Wait, oh fuck! Yeah, I just. It just, it doesn't really annoy me. I'm just like, the controls are bad. I don't get it. I'm just like, I'm sure if the controls was easier, like if the controls made more sense, this would be fine. But the, like, it's like accelerated momentum or something. Uh, he's very strong. Are you thinking of more muscular arms? I feel like he should just get out the bucket and walk. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, there you go. When you get over this bit, he talks some more about stuff. There you go. You'll start. Oh fuck! It. You'll start talking again in a minute. Anyway, um, as for the running wine, as I said, if you've got a pre-existing wine set up, this will just run. It's a Unity game in the very uh, most straightforward way. There's nothing really. There's nothing really particularly, uh, particularly weird happening here apart from the actual game itself. Visually, I like. I like. The, I do, must admit, I do like the way it looks. It doesn't. It just doesn't. The physics don't seem to work for me. It doesn't behave like he doesn't swing naturally. Um, which I suppose gives you, in theory, more control, but at the same time, the controls are working against you. Uh, getting over it, yeah, it's, uh, I'm over it already. I mean, like, I'm literally, I was, I was over it from, like, for about, like, two minutes after I started playing. Let's see, how much, how, let's see, how much time does Steam have me logged in this? How much time have I actually played this for? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, sorted by recent, how much, what's it got me in here for? 
So I've been playing this now for 52 minutes. Um, I played, like I said, I got further in that time, but uh, I, I didn't feel any impetus to play. You get a little, you get a couple of screens across and then the guy talks. Get a little bit more and the guy talks. Then you fall back down to where you are and the guy talks. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I'm not, it's just not the game for me. But as, as I, I know that lots of people um, are interested in this because, you know, of so many people covering it in their videos and stuff, I am... Um, I thought maybe I thought I'd have to do it. I thought I'd have to. Do it. I kind of hope it comes to Linux. Um, it's not something. See, that's interesting. Look, look, that's interesting. Look, if you do that, gravity does affect. Look, gravity does affect him. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about the physics of how it goes through objects. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. But uh, anyway, yeah. It's. I'm not the audience for this game. Really not. But if you if you want to play it and you you have the humble monthly, for instance, you've already got a copy, because it was a humble monthly game. Um, if you don't have the Humble Monthly, you, you might not have a copy. And you can buy it for £5.79, 73 70 whatever it is. And I, I'm not sure why I would pay for this, though. If it's like, a few years ago, this would have been like a Flash game. Like, like this would have been like like a game that you would you would have played in a web browser. But, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, fuck, see, I'll go up there then. You would have been a game you played in a web browser for free, but now people are charging £5 on Steam for it. The only thing I would say is the voiceover works really nicely done. Um, with like the way the sound comes in, there's a credit screen as well, which is quite cute. Like it plays music and it's all handwritten, which is quite nice. Obviously, the dude who made it was kind of like you know he was having fun with it and he kind of like he enjoyed making it. I'd be interested to see if he ever played if he ever played it or not. He can just do that for ages. Look, but it, like there you go. Look, like like it surely he's gonna get tired. <laughs> is it that's a gravity bucket? I'm not sure. I'd like to think that if you picked him up at the bucket, they'd just be like guts and shit hanging down, like, oh, and just, like, the buckets of life support. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, either way, it's this movement, this motion, look, look. I can't make smooth, like, if I just try and make a smooth motion, it's skip. You, you can't, I feel like that's working against me. And I know it's because of the, the bone physics and stuff. I get the reason why. There you this go. Yeah, there we go. Free game that came out in there you go. He's going to talk about the free game now. Sexy hiking. The author of that game was Jazzor, Fucking... a mysterious Czech designer <laughs> who was known at the time as the father of B-Games. Yeah, B-Games. There you go. It's something for the past, isn't it? Found objects. Designers slapped ah, them together shit, yeah. very quickly. That, that's, we're, we're done there. I'm running 16 by 900 in a window, but you can read it full screen. Um, I would say that if you take the graphics too extreme, you get occasional stalling about every five minutes or so. It'll just stall for a few seconds, which in a game like this is infuriating. So I did set it as good, and that's been fine on my system. Um, yeah, this is it. This is the last Wine Wednesday of 2017. This is it. I'm not even sure I'm going to cover any non-native games at all next year. Um, I think maybe this is the last Wine thing you'll see on the channel. I'm not going to say never going to say never, but it's not something that I intend on covering again, as it stands at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is this is I'm 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 over it. I'm over it. That was me getting over it. It's uh, five pounds seventy nine. It's um it's it, it's Ben Foddy. He's uh, he's made he's made nothing else on Steam. <laughs> else on Steam. I'm an XDSL. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow for the end of year vlog. The end of year vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.